What's your favorite way to discover something new? Maybe you like to do a deep dive, the old fashioned way. When the moon is overhead, you weigh slightly less. What? Maybe you like to go straight to the source and ask someone. Hey mom, can you teach me how to make those amazing chocolate chip cookies? You might use a virtual assistant to surf the web. Alexa, how many feet are in one mile? There are 5,280 feet in one mile. You might even like to discover new things by running your own experiment. What happens if I leave a piece of string cheese at the bottom of my backpack for three weeks? Ugh. There are so many ways to learn and a whole universe to discover. But the very most important thing to learn about is the one who created it all. Like, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Every good and perfect gift is from above, from God. God counts every hair on your head. God loves our curiosity. God loves when we ask questions. And the more you discover about God and the world God made, the more you can follow God with your life. When you discover brand new ways to share God's love with those around you, then others can see how God is teaching you to grow. That's why knowledge is such an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud, it's all about living loud. When I am scared of what I don't know, when I'm afraid, thinking I'm alone, you remind me that I still belong. God, you help me to grow. I don't feel strong when I'm afraid something is wrong. You remind me that you're in control. Making a brain food smoothie? Yep. Me too. Oh, cool. All right. Numbers. Words. For clarity. And, you know, because I'm a smarty.
Let the learning begin. Oh yeah. The trick is to get more smarty. Have you ever had one of these? They're so good. You just gotta make sure you don't get a button in your teeth. Next time I should do a thesaurus. Cause the thesaurus, then I could learn new words. And I'm Steven, and welcome to The So-and-So so Show! And today, The So-and-So Show isn't the only show happening in the studio. That's right. We are going to be hosting our show while simultaneously competing in a very special, highly risky, extremely intellectual game show. I just can't wait to get my mind full of more knowledge, more answers, more truth, just more! Uh, let the game show of games and brains begin! Woohoo! In each round, we will play a different game that requires our brain. If you lose the round, you get a strike. Three strikes and you're out of here. Yeah, right. Uh, the, the first person to get three strikes loses the game and gets a pie in the face. You ready? Yes. Round one, Slapjack. Put, Put your, your reflexes, reflexes to the test. test. Sorry, wasn't the jet. Oh! Yes! No! I look away for eight seconds. Strike, Strike one, one for Steven. Steven. Huh. Round two. Think fast. To win, you must name the most comic book characters in 15 seconds. And go! go. Spider-Man, Aquaman, Thor, uh, the Hulk, Wonder Woman, uh, Black Panther, uh, Batman, uh, the Batman, Joker, uh, Joker, uh, Robin, Green Lantern. Uh, let me see, Green Lantern, The Flash. Uh, the, let's see, uh, uh, Rogue, the Cookie uh, Monster, Gambit, Wolverine. No, no, uh, wait, wait. Cookie Monster is not. Uh, yes, he is. No, he's the. Oh, time. Uh, yeah, Strike two I mean? for Steven. Oh, come <laughs> on. Okay, that's good. You can stop right there. Ah, that's enough. Yeah, I think. Uh, yep. Just end your word done. Ready, set, three. Round three, Speed, speed Jenga. Jenga. Not Speed Jenga! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it was too fast. Strike, Strike three, three for, for Steven. Steven. No, that was, I think you touched it last. I'm poor. I'm pretty sure you touched it last. I win! I'm the winner! I'm number one! You know, I was always expected that I was the smart one, but now I have proof. My <laughs> brain is huge. Who's the smart one now? It's Bible story time with Kellen. You should always have a spare pie, just in case. Hey fellas, Happy New Year! Oh yeah, it is the first week of the new year. Can't believe we forgot. Happy New Year, Kellen. Thanks. Hey, you got something special for us to start the year out, right? Oh, you bet. So last month, we learned all about how God loved the world so much that he made a plan to send us a Messiah, or Savior, God's Son, Jesus. Jesus was born to a girl named Mary in the city of Bethlehem. And it's Jesus' birth that we celebrate when we celebrate Christmas. Now, today we're gonna learn about some very special people, some wise men who came to visit Jesus after he was born. And to tell our tale, get ready for Human Head Puppet Theater! Hello, Jerusalem! We are here! The wise men, all three of us. Actually, we don't really know how many wise men there were. It's common to say three, but there could have been two or 10 or 32. We don't really know. Yes, yes. Well, 
I am very wise. Uh, we all are. And we have come from the East. Ooh, the East. What are you doing in Jerusalem? We come in search of the child who will be called King of the Jews. Do you know where he is? Hmm. I haven't heard of that. We saw his star when it rose. We have come to worship him. I feel troubled. During this time, a man named Herod had been appointed by the Romans as the king of Judea. Did someone say they were looking for a king? Uh, yes, that was us. We are looking for the child who will be born to be the king of the Jews. But I'm the king. I'm the king. No, 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 no. Rome said that I was the king. Are you okay? Yes, of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some important matters to attend to. Yes, uh, we'll, uh, we'll just go and ask some other people. Uh -uh. A king born. Who is this? Who? I need a plan. And I know. Chief priests! Law teachers! Yes. That was very fast. Yes, King Herod. Tell me, where the prophets say the Messiah will be? In Bethlehem. In Judea. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Herod secretly called for the wise men to come to him. He found out from the wise men exactly when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to go to Bethlehem. Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report him to me. And then I can go and worship him too. Yeah, sounds good to us. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yep. Nothing to see here. Go off to Bethlehem. Off you go. Okay. <clears throat> Is he gone? Who am I talking to? After listening to the king, the wise men went on their way. The star that they had seen went ahead of them. There it is, the star. Follow me. Finally, the star stopped over the place where the child was. Ta-da! This must be the place. Wow, I feel so full of joy. The wise men went into the house and they saw the child. Jesus, he was with his mother Mary. You are the child we've been searching for. We worship you. Merry Christmas. I mean, happy birthday. Uh, what do you say to someone whose birthday is on Christmas? Uh, never mind. Uh, we brought you gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The myrrh was his idea. It was good though. No, I, I like it. The wise men were amazed and filled with joy when they finally found Jesus. They worshiped him and gave him gifts that were truly fit for a king. But before they left, God gave them a dream warning them not to go back to King Herod. So they returned home to their country a different way. The end. Man, those wise men were super smart. Knowing the Messiah had been born and being able to follow the star like that? Yeah, and understanding God's dream to not go back to Herod? That guy did not seem trustworthy. Not at all. No, Herod was not a good king. Jesus, however, he is a very good king. He is the king who rules forever. The wise men used their knowledge to help them search out the true king, and they were overjoyed when they found him. They traveled very far, risking their lives to search out what was true. That's amazing. Thanks, Kellen. Hey, you guys are welcome, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Kellen. You know, it's awesome that those wise men were some of the first people to recognize the truth of who Jesus was. Yeah, knowing what's true is very important. In fact, I think it's important enough to reveal the question. 
What are some things that are true? Yeah, there are lots of obvious truths all around us, like uh, the fact that the sun gives us heat and light. And the ocean is full of water. Uh, and there are things about God that are true too, like uh, God is really big and powerful. And God loves you no matter what. There's a lot of stuff we know and a lot of stuff we haven't learned yet, but just like the wise men, we can search for what's true by growing in knowledge and following Jesus. So what are some things that you know are true? You talk it out and we'll see you next time. I'm Steven. And I'm the undisputed winner of the game show of games and brains and probably the smartest person you'll ever meet. <laughs> Where do you keep getting all these pies? Thanks for watching the So and So Show. I always keep some pies handy, just in case. I actually have a little refrigerator down here. Is that what that's for? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Check out those reflexes. Go. Yes. Yeah. Good one. Very nice. Very nice. Oh no. Can you set it up again? Yeah. yeah Let's great. go together. Okay, here we go. This is really good. Oh, is my it working? Oh. Ah! Where do these guys come from? No! Okay, speed Jenga, go. Oh. oh.